Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we will be solving one amazing exponential equation that is 3 power x plus 4 power x plus 5 power x is equal to 6 power x. We have to solve for the value of x. So, there are two methods for us. First method is algebraically and second using calculus, means graph theory and all. So, we will try to find out which way it will be simple for us. So let me start by considering divide both sides by 6 power x. So if I will divide, let me consider our function fx is equal to 3 power x plus 4 power x plus 5 power x minus 6 power x. Now let us calculate what is the function value at 0 at origin. So 3 power 0 is 1, 4 power 0 is 1, 5 power 0 is 1, minus 6 power 0 is 1. So 3 minus 1, so 2. Our graph will intersect y axis at x equal to 0 magnitude will be 2. On y axis it will be intersecting at 2. Now fx is equal to 3 power x plus 4 power x plus 5 power x minus 6 power x. Divide, divide our original equation by 6 power x. So fx how it will be? Let me write 3 power x divide by 6 power x. 4 power x over 6 power x. 5 power x over 6 power x is equal to 1. Now by the exponent property that is a power x let me write a power x over b power x anytime we can write a over b whole power x. When its exponent is same we can merge the powers. So it will be 3 over 6 I am writing directly 1 over 2 whole power x 4 over 6, 2 over 3 whole power x plus 5 over 6 whole power x is equal to 0, 1. So that value is right hand side is 1. Now let us take and try to analyze this part of the equation. So what I am trying to actually do let me consider this is my px, means I am trying to analyze this px only. Right hand side is one constant value if we are talking about our graph. So let me consider this is qx. So what, what we are looking for here, intersection of px and qx, where it will intersect. So let us find out first the nature of px. So px is half power x plus 2 over 3 power x plus 5 over 6 power x. Let me find out p dash x. First derivative test. So that value will be half power x ln half plus the derivative of a power x d over dx of a power x equal to a power x ln a. This is what we know. So it will be 2 over 3 whole power x ln 2 over 3 plus 5 over 6 whole power x ln 5 over 6. Now we know that first point is a raised to the power x will be always positive for all real values of x. This is one thing. So, if you point out these three brackets, so they all will be positive. Positive, positive, positive. Whether you are passing x negative, positive or zero, that value will be flat, positive. Non-zero, you will get. So, that means positive. Now, come to fractional value. So, let me write here ln x will be always negative when x lies in between 0 and 1. If you remember the graph of ln function, 
you can see this point is 1, this point is 0. So, your ln will be always negative. You can see between in this interval, your graph is this one and which is negative. Okay. So, if x lies in between 0 and 1, this will be always negative. 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 So, we will conclude one statement, a strong statement that is overall this sign is negative. Positive times negative is negative. We know the product of one of positive number and negative number is negative. Similarly, 3. You are adding 3 negative numbers. So, your f, f dash or in this case, we have p dash x that will be always negative. See, this is something very important means function is monotonic decreasing. Okay. Function is monotonic decreasing. So, Px conclude statement is monotonic decreasing function and Qx the right hand side is 1 means it is constant function. So, let me try to analyze one thing. One function is monotonic decreasing and another function is constant function. Let me change this color so that you can identify. See, this blue color is y equal to 1 constant function. Right hand side, this is qx, the graph of qx, this. And vertically, this is your px graph. And this is your qx graph, blue color. Now, you can see this intersection. Actually, we are trying to find out that value. Where it is going to intersect means the solution or root. This value we are trying to find out. Now, one point is clear now. After this much of analysis, we can conclude that this intersection of two graphs, because one function is flat monotonic decreasing, it is dipping down, down and down. And another function is constant function, as you can see. So, only once both qpx and qx will intersect. So, conclusion is only one solution, only one or only single solution will be there for sure. This is our so far analysis. Now, this part is done. Now, second thing we can conclude uh, by hit and trial method. Suppose I am putting x equal to 0. So, that value is 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. It is not equal to it. It will not come value 0. Let me write 3 power 0 plus 4 power 0 plus 5 power 0. So, equal to 6 power 0. Is this true? 3 equal to 1. No. x equal to 1. 3 plus 4 plus 5 equal to 6? No. x equal to 2. 9, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25. Is it equal to 36? No. 16 plus 9, 25 plus 5, 25, 50. 50 is not equal to 36. x equal to 3. 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125 equal to 6 cube is 216. Add all the three numbers. It will be 6, 5, 4, 9, 7, 16 and 12, 6, 18 to 20, 21. So, it is 216. That means x equal to 3 is the only solution. We first assured that only single solution will be there on single real solution will be there. After that, by trial method, hit and trial method, you can conclude few values. If you get this answer, then it's okay. Nice answer. You will calculate. If you still not get your answer, then there is one numerical method, numerical analysis method, iterative method. That is in the last video, we have seen newton Rapson method. By that method, we will find out after few iterations, we will conclude our root or solution. So, both ways are there. This is not hit and trial method. This is analytical method. It is not algebraic method also. 
it is analytical method and if this method is good you can by by putting some values of x like 0 1 2 3 4 or negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 if you are not getting your answer or solution then you can go for numerical methods or numerical analysis method that is newton ramson now third part of this question graph as you can see i have taken see this is our function px this is our function qx then after i have drawn this is qx this is my px if i will put values then it, you can check zero the value y value is there this is only uh, the value of px so if i am putting x equal to 0 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is why it is 0 comma 3 y value is 3 you can see if i am putting x equal to 3 then right hand side is 1 so this is our solution actually but i try to find out using desmos and this is something you should be aware of see the, the nature of function is decreasing by calculus we concluded by calculating first derivative and hence you are getting this solution i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching this video please do subscribe my channel if you want more mathematical videos like this thanks a lot